everybody, it's Allie again, and today I want to show you something simple. And part of this is not just about how to create like fairy dust, but it's also like on how you can work with your brushes because there's a lot of power in brushes and understanding the settings on the brushes can make a huge deal. But this is gonna be a very tiny part of what you could do with a brush. So I've got this image that I took during the Michaels Challenge and I wanna add some fairy dust to make it look a little bit more magical. So the first thing I do is I set my brush colors and I will set both colors. So I've set my foreground color to be like a yellow and I've sampled my boa and my background color is like a soft aqua. And one thing, if you're in CC, uh, Photoshop CC, you get all these brushes. You just have to go download them and they're free and they're amazing. And so what I've been finding is these splatter brushes are great for fairy dust, but when you start, you're going to be like, Ellie, seriously, this just looks like splats. It doesn't look like fairy dust at all. And that's because you've got to learn some of the settings on your brushes. So I'm going to choose Kyle's splatter brush, the first one here. And I've got a second layer. And now I'm going to go to my brush settings. And so I like my fairy dust to have a little color. So I'm going to turn on color dynamics. Remember I said I purposely set my foreground and my background color and the reason I did that is because I'm turning on color dynamics and I'm turning on the foreground background jitter and I'm going to push that up and what that means is my dust is going to pick up both of those colors. I'm not just going to be painting in one color. Now if I really want to add and you can see here's our sample of what this dust is going to look like. If I really want to add like more variation I'm going to turn up my hue jitter. What that's going to do is it's also going to vary the color a bit based off of similar hues. And I can also bring up the saturation jitter, which I'm not going to do. I think I'm going to pop up the brightness jitter just a touch. So now let's see what my brush does. And every now and then, I'm going to tell you guys right now, my computer can get a little slow. Oh, well, it's working today. So it just looks nice right now. I mean, it's kind of like fairy dust. It's a little flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint it, but I'm going to show you guys something. I'm just painting on a little bit of this fairy dust to get the look I want. I don't want a nice, you know, I want it to look super magical. But let's take a look at what the fairy dust looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw background color behind it. That's not a good background color. Let's just go with black. So now you can see what's been happening. So see how you can see like there's some pinks which I didn't pick pink, and then there's some yellows, and it's like there's some little bluey things in there too, but you, you're getting like, that's what the fairy dust looks like. So now what I want to do is I want to enhance it to really give it like a fairy dust look. So I'm going to double click on my layer off to the side and bring up my layer styles. I'm going to turn on my outer glow, and you can see already the dust starts to look a lot prettier. And and just so you know, you can control the color of your outer glow. I tend to leave mine at this like yellowy color because I like it for most of my glowy stuff. You can change it though. And then I'm going to turn on my inner glow, which currently I have my inner glow set to pick up that bluey color. Again, you can make that white, you can make that whatever you want, and you can adjust the opacity. And then the last thing I like to do sometimes is see what bevel and emboss does because bevel and emboss will turn on like a 3d-ish look and here's where you can control your depth like I don't know that fairy dust needs a super amount of depth so you don't want to turn the size of it up too much that's going to start looking weird so now we're going to just turn that on and we can see what the dust you can see there what the effect was of the dust but another thing that's good Let's just look at what our fairy dust looks like now. So that was before I did the effects and then after doing the effects. Um, it's a really quick, it's a little magical thing. There's a lot you can do, but the idea is play with your brush settings, play with the different brushes that you're provided and play with the hue and saturation and the jitter and all of those and, you know, and then play with your final opacity if maybe it's not right. Now I'm not done with this. I would also add like a little bit of glow into her hands and make it like the fairy dust is making her glow. 
But right now, I just wanted to show how I would add fairy dust. It's not just fairy dust. You could do this with all kinds of effects. The idea is just to understand that within your brushes, you've got a ton of settings. And if you've got Photoshop CC, you've got a ton of brushes for free. And they all do something. And some of these things are really powerful. So that's my little tip for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.